Hello everyone this is Manisha Panda from Simple Blue Odisha I welcome you all again in my YouTube channel that is Manisha's Magical Biology and today we are going to discuss one of the very important topics of class 11 CBC Biology that is I'm going to discuss the PGR plant growth regulators yes I'm going to discuss about one of the plant growth regulators that is ethylene yes I would be discussing about ethylene let's start the discussion Ethylene is a simple gaseous PGR. Ethylene is a simple gaseous PGR. It is synthesized in large amounts by tissues undergoing senescence. Ethylene is a simple gaseous PGR. It is synthesized in large amounts by tissues undergoing senescence and ripening fruits. Ethylene is a simple gaseous PGR. It is gaseous PGR. It is synthesized in large amounts by tissues undergoing senescence and ripening fruits. It is synthesized in large amounts by tissues undergoing senescence and ripening fruits. Influences of ethylene on plant include influences of ethylene on plants include horizontal growth of seedlings horizontal growth of seedlings swelling of the axis and apical hook formation in dicot seedlings influences of ethylene on plants include horizontal growth of seedlings swelling of the axis and apical hook formation in dicot seedlings i'm repeating from the beginning once again ethylene is a simple gaseous pgr ethylene is a simple gaseous pgr it is synthesized in large amounts by tissues undergoing senescence it is synthesized in large amounts by tissues undergoing senescence and senescence and ripening fruits influences of ethylene on plants include horizontal growth of seedlings swelling of axis and apical hook formation in dicot seedlings influences of ethylene on plants include horizontal growth of seedlings swelling of axis and apical hook formation in dicot seedlings <clears throat> ethylene promotes senescence and abscission of plant organs ethylene promotes senescence and abscission of plant organs especially leaves and flowers ethylene promotes senescence and abscission of plant organs senescence and abscission of plant organs especially leaves and flowers okay next another very important function is <coughs> ethylene is highly effective in fruit ripening ethylene is highly effective in fruit ripening it enhances the respiration rate during ripening of the fruits it enhances the it enhances the respiration rate during the ripening of the fruits ethylene is highly effective in fruit ripening it enhances the respiration rate during the ripening of the fruits this rise in rate of respiration is called respiratory climactic this rise in rate of respiration is called respiratory climactic i'm repeating the whole from the beginning this finishes one of one paragraph given in ncert cbc biology Yes, NCERT book of class eleven. It is I am describing from the NCERT book of class eleven. So I am getting stick to that only. Ethylene is a simple gaseous PGR. Ethylene is a simple gaseous PGR. It is synthesized in large amount by tissues undergoing senescence and ripening fruits. It is synthesized in large amounts by tissues undergoing senescence and senescence and ripening fruits. Influences of ethylene on plants include horizontal growth of seedlings, swelling of axis, and apical hook formation in dicot seedlings. Horizontal growth of seedlings, swelling of axis, and apical hook formation in dicot seedlings. Ethylene promotes senescence and abscission of plant organs. Ethylene promotes senescence and abscission of plant organs, especially leaves and flowers. Ethylene is highly effective in fruit ripening. Ethylene is highly effective in fruit ripening. It enhances the respiration rate during the ripening of the fruits. It enhances the respiration rate during the ripening of the fruits. This rise in rate of respiration. This rise in rate of respiration is called respiratory climactic. This rise in rate of respiration is called respiratory climactic. Okay, so this finishes some of the important functions of ethylene. Coming to what are the other important functions of ethylene? Just get it done, students. You can easily do that. Yes, ethylene. <coughs> <coughs> what are the other functions? Ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy. Ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy, initiates germination in peanut seeds. It is the first function I'm repeating. I'm beginning the functions of the second paragraph given in NCRT. Ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy. Ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy.
initiate germination in peanut seeds sprouting of potato tubers ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy initiates germination in peanut seeds and sprouting of potato tubers okay so this is the first function of the second paragraph what are the other functions coming to the next function it promotes rapid internode or pitiole elongation it promotes rapid internode or pitiole elongation in deep water rice plants it promotes rapid internode or pitiole elongation internode or pitiole elongation in deep water rice plants okay what are the other functions coming to the next function <coughs> it also promotes it helps the leaves or the upper parts of the shoot to remain above water it helps the leaves or upper parts of the shoot to remain above water okay what are the functions given in the second paragraph i am repeating once again first function <clears throat> it breaks ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy initiates germination in peanut seeds initiates germination in peanut seeds sprouting of potato tuber then second function given in the second paragraph that is it promotes rapid internode or pitiole elongation it promotes rapid internode or pitiole elongation in deep water rice plants deep water rice plants then third it helps leaves or upper parts of the shoot to remain above water it helps leaves or upper parts of the shoot to remain above water to remain above water then next function it also promotes root growth and root hair formation it also promotes root growth and root hair formation thus helping the plants to increase their absorption surface it also promotes root growth and root hair formation root growth and root hair form formation thus thus helping the plants thus helping the plants to increase their absorption surface absorption area okay so i'm repeating the functions once again once again it ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy initiates germination in peanut seeds and sprouting of potato tubers ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy initiates germination in peanut seeds sprouting of potato tuber it promotes rapid internode or pitiole elongation it promotes rapid internode or pitiole elongation in deep water rice plants it helps leaves or upper parts of the shoot to remain above water it helps leaves or upper parts of the shoot to remain above water it also promotes root growth and root hair formation root growth and root hair formation thus helping the plants to increase their absorption area thus helping the plants to increase their absorption area okay so this finishes the functions coming to the third paragraph given in insert e <coughs> ethylene is also used to initiate flowering ethylene is also used to initiate flowering and for synchronizing fruit set and for synchronizing fruit set in pineapples ethylene is also used to initiate flowering and for synchronizing synchronizing fruit set in pineapples it is it is also helpful in the fruit ripening in mangoes it is also helpful in fruit ripening in mangoes okay it, the lin is used to initiate flowering and for synchronizing for synchronizing fruit set in pineapples it is also helpful in fruit ripening in mangoes it is also helpful for for fruit ripening in mangoes okay <coughs> since ethylene performs a number of physiological processes since since ethylene regulates a number of physiological processes it is widely used as a it is it is widely used as a major pgr in agriculture since ethylene regulates a number of physiological processes since ethylene regulates a number of physiological processes it is widely used as a pgr in it is a most widely used pgr in agriculture it is most widely used pgr in agriculture since ethylene regulates a number of physiological processes it is widely used it it is a major it is a widely used pgr in agriculture okay is yes, what is the source of ethylene which is regularly used <coughs> the most widely the most 
most commonly used compound as a source of ethylene the most commonly used compound as a source of ethylene is ethifon the most commonly used compound as a source of ethylene is ethifon ethifon in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed ethifon in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed and transported in bloods ethifon as is uh, ethifon in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed and transported within the plant and releases ethylene slowly the most widely used compound as a source of ethylene the most widely used compound as a source of ethylene is ethifon ethifon is in an aqueous solution ethifon in an in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed ethifon in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed and transported within the plant ethifon in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed and transported within the plant and releases ethylene slowly okay what are the other functions ethylene hastens means fastens ethylene hastens fruit ripening ethylene hastens fruit ripening in tomatoes and apples ethylene hastens fruit ripening in tomatoes and apples and also accelerates accelerates abscission accelerates abscission in flowers and fruits ethylene hastens fruit ripening in tomatoes and apples and also accelerates abscission accelerates abscission in flowers and fruits that is thinning of in the bracket there would be thinning of cotton wool and in cherry cotton wool and in cherry okay ethylene ethylene hastens fruit ripening in tomatoes and apples and accelerate succession of flowers and fruits that is in the bracket thinning of cotton cherry walnut okay <coughs> it promotes female flowers in cucumbers it, prom it promotes female flowers in cucumbers thus increasing the yield it promotes female flowers in cucumbers thus increasing the yield okay i'm getting to the third paragraph once again ethylene is used to initiate ethylene is used to initiate flowering and for synchronizing fruit set in pineapples ethylene is used to initiate flowering and for synchronizing fruit set fruit set in pineapples it also enhances the fruit ripening in mang mangoes it also enhances the fruit 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 ripening in mangoes since ethylene regulates a number of physiological processes since ethylene regulates a number of physiological processes it is widely used it is widely used as a pgr in agriculture it is the most widely used pgr in agriculture since ethylene regulates a number of physiological processes it is the most wide it is the most widely used pgr in agriculture okay what is the most wi widely the may uh, what is a compound which is a source of ethylene the most commonly used compound as a source of ethylene the most commonly used compound the most widely used compound as a source of ethylene is ethifon the most widely used compound as a source of ethylene is ethifon ethifon in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed ethifon in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed and transported within the plant and releases ethylene slowly ethifon in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed and transported within the plant and releases ethylene slowly ethylene hastens ethylene hastens fruit ripening in tomatoes and apples and accelerates abscission of flowers and fruits accelerates abscission of flowers and fruits and thinning of cotton wool and cherry it promotes female flowers in cucumbers it promotes female flowers in cucumbers thus increasing the yield okay yes i'm repeating from the beginning once again all the three paragraphs given in nct class 11 in the biology <clears throat> ethylene is a simple gaseous pgr ethylene is a simple gaseous pgr it is synthesized in large amounts by tissues undergoing senescence and ripening fruits ethylene is a simple gaseous pgr it is synthesized in large amounts by tissues undergoing senescence and ripening fruits it influences of ethylene on plants include influences of ethylene on plants include horizontal growth of seedlings swelling of axis and apical hook formation in dicot seedlings influences of ethylene on plants include horizontal growth of seedlings swelling of the axis and, and apical hook formation in, in dicot seedlings ethylene promotes 
senescence and abscission of plant organs ethylene promotes senescence and abscission of plant organs especially flowers and leaves yes leaves and flowers especially leaves and flowers ethylene promotes abscission senescence and abscission of plant organs especially leaves and flowers ethylene is highly effective in fruit ripening ethylene is highly effective in fruit ripening it enhances the respiration rate it enhances the respiration rate during the ripening of the fruits this rise in rate of respiration this rise in rate of respiration is known as respiratory climactic this rise in rate of respiration is known as respiratory is called respiratory climactic coming to the second paragraph remember i am describing in terms of paragraph students but we will write in bullets only for one in single bullet i will write the single sentence just so don't forget that you have to write in bullets only ethylene breaks coming to the second paragraph of given in set in cat ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy initiates germin initiates germination in peanut seeds ethylene breaks seed and bud dormancy initiates germination in peanut seeds sprouting of potato tubers it promotes rapid internode and petiole or petiole elongation in deep water rice plants it promotes rapid internode or petiole elongation in deep water rice plants it helps the leaves or upper parts of the shoot to remain above water it helps the leaves or upper parts of the shoot to remain above water okay it also promotes it also promotes what is that it also promotes the root growth and root hair formation it also promotes root growth and root hair formation thus helping the plants to increase their absorption area thus helping the plants to increase their absorption area it also promotes root growth and root hair formation thus helping the plants to increase their absorption area okay coming to the third paragraph ethylene is also used to initiate flowering ethylene is also used to initiate flowering and for synchronizing fruit set in pineapples for synchronizing fruit set in pineapples it also enhances fruit ripening in mangoes it also enhances fruit ripening in mangoes okay and what are the other since ethylene regulates a number of physiological processes since ethylene regulates a number of physiological processes so what happens it is the most widely used pgr in agriculture since ethylene regulates a number of physiological processes it is it is the most widely used pgr it is the most widely used pgr in agriculture the most widely used compound is a source of ethylene and the most widely used compound is a source of ethylene is ethifon ethifon in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed ethifon in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed and transported within the plant and releases ethylene slowly ethifon in an aqueous in an aqueous solution is readily absorbed and transported within the plant and it releases ethylene slowly releases ethylene slowly what are the functions other functions given ethylene hastens fruit ripening in tomatoes and apples ethylene hastens fruit ripening in tomatoes and apples and accelerates abscission accelerates abscission of flowers and fruits ethylene has tens fruit ripening in tomatoes and apples and accelerates abscission accelerates abscission of flowers and fruits that is thinning of tomato cotton sorry cotton cherry walnut cotton cherry walnut okay yes uh, ethylene what is the last function given in the third paragraph it promotes female flowers in cucumbers it promotes female flowers in cucumbers thus increasing the yield okay so this finishes one of the very important plant growth regulators that is ethylene remember ethylene has both accelerating as well as inhibiting properties it is used as plant growth promoter it is it is having both promotory as well as inhibitory activities as you can see so it is uh, one of the very important plant growth regulators just get it done students just get it is properly if you are unable to do in single time just just rewind forward and pause the video and revise it again and again i am sure you will get it done yes you will just get it done